Now for some fun. We want to build a circuit. So when we build a circuit, we work with these components. You've now already learned how to make the symbols for them, but let's just have a look at them now as they are connected. So as usual, we start with our power source. In this case, it's going to be the battery. Please listen carefully to the words I use because when we get to the national grid, then we're going to use the same words you're going to see. So power source, in this case, is the battery. We have connecting wires. You can see the red one coming along there. We're coming to what we call the purpose. So there you can see the little light. The lamp is connected. Notice that it's connected to the middle and the edge one. And then it goes to the negative side of the battery. So I'm going to connect it up there. Um, just have a look here. When you draw this, there are some rules that need to be followed. You have to use a pencil. You've got to draw the real thing. So they must look like these items that you see in front of you. You must check that all the joins are properly sealed. So we're going to check that all the joins, when you draw it, they must show that they are closed. And then last one, label all the parts. So you have to label it just as you would label a science thing. So let's join this. Aha, I see things are happening. There we go. We have a circuit and we call this a basic circuit. Three things have to be in place. The power source, some connecting wires and a purpose. When we have those three, we have a full basic circuit. We can change this a little bit and add a switch in. So we're making it a more fancy basic circuit. So I'm going to put this um, switch. There's the little switch I spoke about before. So I'm going to connect it in here. Let me put it on the edge. And then I'm going to connect this one in here. And now let's see if our switch works. Yes, there's the switch on, the switch closed. So now we have a circuit with a switch. So the switch just controls the flow of the current. So the current is going to flow. Uh, it stops it there, cannot flow any further. The minute I switch it on, you can see the light comes on. So now we know it is a closed loop and the switch is allowing the current to flow through from the battery all the way back to the negative side of the battery. Right, so this circuit that we've got here is as we would have in the torch. Um, you've got the switch as you had in the torch, you've got a lamp, you've got a battery and the wires going back. In the torch we had just that little strip. So that would be the diagram that you would have to draw. So let's just have a look at the rules for making a drawing of a circuit diagram. So here they go. Firstly, you have to use a pencil and a ruler. Boys and girls, very important. All straight lines must be drawn with a ruler. Next, you use only the international symbols. You may not just suddenly draw an ordinary little picture in the middle of your circuit diagram. Then you check that all the joins are closed and then luckily you don't have to have any labels. So that would be as this drawing is at the bottom here. Here you can see the two cells, 1.5 plus 1.5, so three volt battery, the wires, the sliding switch that is open. Look how they connect into the circuit. And then the lamp is over there and you've got wires once more. So we go back once we've made our drawing and we check that all the joins are closed. There are no gaps anywhere in your drawing. Um, that is number three. And of course, there's not a single label on that because it's the international language of electronics. So we don't have to worry about putting any labels. It's always neat, always tidily done, and we can read it very easily.